guys, um, so I am going to be reacting to, um, Aquaman, um, I mean, I think, I think I've seen it like twice, um, I mean, uh, just from watching it those two times, I didn't mind it, um, it was fun while it lasted, but it's not necessarily my favorite DC movie, um, you know, it has a lot of cool action scenes and and stuff like that, but character-wise, they, you know, I didn't mind the characters, I guess you could say that, but, uh, I mean, let's just get started, and, uh, I can give you my thoughts as we go along. I do think the opening, you know, just, I love how they, they make it unique, just the logos and everything unique to what type of movie it's gonna be. I must say they did good, uh, you know, CGI face or de-aging, I guess you could say, for the actor. What is it with, you know, DC characters and finding them washed up on shore? <laughs> so who's she gonna end up fight with? Is she gonna fight with one of the, uh, what's the dude called? The the, the, the That's how like two ships call. destined for each other. <laughs> I love how she's stronger than him. Of course, she's Atlantean. They're always stronger. Oh, doggy! I love dogs. <laughs> Don't kind of nervous. <laughs> uh, I was gonna make you some <laughs> HP Lovecraft. Gotta wonder if he had some influence on this movie. I know Juan is kind of a horror geek. He's more than that. He's. <laughs> So it's horrible. <laughs> I love his house. Her just, you know, she's the one that's gonna be kicking ass while he protects Arthur. Queen Atlanta, by the authority of King. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole Kidman kicking butt. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the spear. <laughs> I did love that scene. It's so cool. I did think that's a cool scene. You can see the the what you know, the waves, as he's using his powers. So really, just massacred the entire crew. <laughs> So if they lift it up from that deep, wouldn't it have like effects on the 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 people inside, like like with the like depressurization and everything like that? I'm not sure how deep they were. That's not a man. Ronan, 
when he was in uh, Stargate Atlantis. Gives me such Ronin vibes. Oh, they didn't kill everyone. Aquaman! <laughs> <laughs> I do like the improvised fear. <laughs> I do like how they bring his, like, Jason Momoa's heritage to Aquaman. Ah! Yeah, I don't feel one ounce of pity for this douchebag. Slaughtered an entire crew just for fucking money. Kill innocent people! You're asked to seek for mercy. I do love that line, though. You asked to seek for mercy. Hey! Hey! You need to live, so you I don't necessarily pity this douchebag, but it does show that, I mean, ultimately shows that it doesn't really matter whether they deserve it or not, your actions are going to have consequences. <laughs> the same pirates who are suspected in connection with the disappearance of the Navy's highly classified prototype stealth submarine. And a further development, we now have unconfirmed reports that the metahuman dubbed by social media as the Aquaman was responsible. So, does it, this takes place after the shit Justice League, right? Just Justice League. Is he well a known character? Or a hero? Or is people still, you know, kind of, uh, they don't know what he looks like? Because I, I think, like, with Justice League, it was... He wasn't well known to the public, and so now he's still pretty much just a myth. They don't know what he looks like. Everybody smile. You know, I do like that we slowly he gets drunker and drunker. <laughs> I do like how they made the sea dragons, seahorses, sorry, look cool. You think, you know, you think that they'd make them lame, but they're actually pretty badass. And I do love that they ride sharks. <laughs> you picked a meeting place too close to the surface for my liking. No I do love that they actually have the hair, you know, acting like it's in water. It's like floating. Is this why he, you know, got to the, wanted to meet here so that he could give him a whole history lesson or whatever? Try to get him to to join him. Four kingdoms, you will be ordained ocean master. So they acknowledge that you know once he gets come to power, he will then be ocean master. So when he later on calls himself ocean master, it's acknowledgement that he's now for a little while master of the seas. <laughs> You can kind of, you kind of know right off that this is most likely Orm. Orm's doing. I love that they still do the like the, you know, propul propul propulsion whenever they you know s swim. <laughs> I, I, what, is that one of the like the mythological creatures? What what was that called? And so I guess they're still alive. I'm wondering if it's this this creature is just happens to be alive, or it's always been alive. They're just you know used by the the Atlanteans as steeds, which is why you never see them. He is not one of us. He killed. Interesting. How is the hologram? that hologram work. Is that just formed by the water? <laughs> so is Mara able to like control the water? Can, can Aquaman do that? Or is it just like a skill she has? Oh no, no, this was no natural disaster. Ow. They threw out our garbage and our warships. See, I do like the kind of environmental message. It's not too heavy-handed because it makes perfect sense for this particular comic or, you know, comic. You know, Aquaman comes from a city in the sea that no doubt will be affected by pollution and, uh, 
believable that if they did exist, they might retaliate because of the, you know, shitty way you're treating their oceans. Soon, my young prince. When you're ready, I'll take you. You know, they obviously have these hairdos to keep their, you know, hair from like getting in the way because it's always just floating. So they always wear them tight. Such beautiful scenes. I love how, you know, despite it being underwater, it's still very bright. Like the luminescence, gorgeous. I love the statues. Very reminiscent of Lord of the Rings. Excited to see the Atlanteans from Justice League, especially in history scene, because if I, you know, assume correctly, this that would be when they're still living on land before they, you know, move to, to water. I absolutely adore the fact that a lot of their architecture is influenced by, you know, the sea, sea creatures. It just makes it so, such a cool touch. And they, they use sea creatures as, you know, chattel. So it very much feels like a human society if they were to live underwater. Description of these one. See, I love that they actually pay ode to the comics while also making them cooler. Not making them as ridiculous. I love that they got the shock waves after each blow. You can see it as the weapons move through the water, the, how it uh, displaces the water as it go, moves through it. It's so cool. It's interesting because it seems like they have, like with the ship, they had the, the, the ship. And then it had like a, you know, obviously a surface of water on the ship. Because when she, she was able to deteriorize it when they were underwater to let, uh, let, uh, um, you know, uh, Arthur in. So, is it like, can, do, can you use waters to form actual barriers that prevent them from going through it? Even though it's water and they can breathe water and they can move through water, they can actually create barriers with waters to prevent them from going through it. Very much like, uh, say, a car. It has a it has a windshield. You know, it has air inside. It has air outside. But there's this object, this physical object that prevents you from moving through it unless you remove it. It's kind of interesting, you know, thinking about it. I do like how he, he doesn't try to embarrass her, he just goes along with it. <laughs> you can't run! You owe me blood! <sighs> God, I wish the guy would shut the fuck up. Literally just monologuing. Nothing real revealing about the character, just... Oh, I'm gonna get ya. I'll show you the same mercy you showed my father. Oh, yeah, this shithead wants to talk about mercy. It's all my problems with my anger and my fist. I'm a blunt instrument and I'm damn good at it. I like how he comments about him being a blunt instrument. Yeah, he's kind of been more brawn this entire time, using, like, muscle and everything like that, force. Whereas, Erm, er he's been brains. He's the more calculating of the two. Which is why he was able to beat Arthur that first time. Probably my favorite scene in the entire movie. I'm a huge horror fan, and obviously James Wan is a horror director. I love it. I would definitely, definitely love to get a, like, uh trench movie like in the uh in the style of the descent that would be so fucking cool like have just this horror movie where maybe some people humans 
go and get caught in the uh, get caught in the trench, and so they have to survive these creatures. That'd be so fucking cool. I love that uh, music as they're going down into the trench. It's just so, it's so, what's the word I'm looking for? Haunting. And of course, as they go down to the trench, there's that single light. And then you just see the enormity of all these creatures following them down. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I do love when there's an explosion and it's going like bubbly. <laughs> Such a cool scene. I just love how they appear from behind him. Just like very similar to when he was a kid. All the creatures are behind them. Ride a steed properly. <laughs> You're both my children, and I love you so much. But you have been misguided. I do love that too. You know, we get this kind of moment between the two of them. The Atlanta still loves both her children. I am the protector of the deep. Ah, uh, very reminiscent of the Superman flight scene. So cool. Beautiful credits, like always. DC is very good at having beautiful credit tunes. So, like, my favorite so, so far still is uh, Wonder Woman credit tunes. So, that was Aquaman. Um, it honestly, did kind of go faster than I thought it was going to be. It's like two hours, but it went faster. I mean, I've seen it two times, and usually sometimes it drags after watching it enough times, but it still went pretty quickly. I mean, I. For me, this is just like a. Just a fun action movie but ultimately still not one of my favorites it doesn't really resonate with me emotionally like some of the other movies do you know i tend to gravitate towards movies that really really go into depth with the characters you know and what's going what's going on with them what's going on through their heads um and so this one it's really just you know there's a lot more action as opposed to really in-depth character analysis and so that's why it's just pretty just a fun action movie to watch in the moment frankly i think the only character i didn't like was black manta he was just so fucking irritating as shit entire his entire um beef with aquaman is that aquaman let his father die when his father was fucking slaughtering innocent people and then he wants to try to act like he has more a high ground. About, you know, you killed my father. Well, sorry. I don't really feel bad for you. But other than that, I mean... I know there's, I think there's an after scene with Black Manta. I really wish he'd stop doing that because I just end up forgetting and ultimately... I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, that was Aquaman. Um... Almost done with my DC EU we watch. I'm gonna be watching. I believe it's Shazam next. So if you wanna um, see my reaction to that, just keep an eye out for that video. Um, I am not sure when I'll put it up because, frankly, um, you know I have have been working a lot and it takes a lot to edit these videos. And so um, I'll get it done. You know as fast as I can. Um, but. That being said, you guys have a you have a nice night. Um, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.